Hey, good evening everyone, and greetings from the Gaylord Palms Resort, where uh, ice is back. One of our favorite traditions. Yeah, we try and go every Christmas. Um, I hasn't been here in the last two years, but it is back. And this year's theme is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, so it should be a good one. I really like this photo up here with the wreath with the Grinch's uh, weird hand stealing the ornaments. I like how you can see like the line so it looks like it's fur. Yeah. sign of ice with the Grinch and uh, the Grinch apparently does not live in Mount Crumpet here at the Gaylord Palms but it's set inside an igloo and an igloo that you can walk into which is really neat. You also can get really close to the Grinch but don't touch. No no you're not supposed to touch any of the ice. But it just shows you the scale of how big yeah. they are. There's Molly not nearly as tall as a Grinch. No. You do have all the little houses from Whoville. This scene is great. I love it. You can see all the Who's and they're decorating for Christmas. Going Christmas shopping. They have their band. Yeah. It's great. And I love their noses. Yes, I will say that the, uh, the Who's here at Ice this year look rather Muppety. Mm -hmm. photo up where you can get your picture taken next to the Grinch. A giant one. Yeah. In the next room, the Grinch is getting ready to steal Christmas and the first appearance of my favorite character from the story, Max the dog. He looks like a wiener dog from here. A little bit. He kind of looks like yeah, a long haired yeah. dachshund kind of. But I love how he's tying the reindeer horn on him. Yep. And then you can see the Grinch going through the process of stealing Christmas. He goes up the chimney? Down the chimney. Well, no, he climbs up the chimney. Yeah. And then he goes down the chimney and yeah. steals the stocking. Again, it's really amazing that so much of this is made out of ice and carved. It is uh, nine degrees in here. And it's the details, too. Yes. Like over here, he is stealing the roast beast. But they also have a turkey, I believe, or? Which, I mean, that's just impressive. Like, it's a turkey carved out of ice. Yeah. Those who's must be hungry. Well, they, they might be because there are five of them down there and sharing a bed. <laughs> this is the most impressive room in ice this year. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. Of course, the room with the ice slides is always a big favorite. And you can see the Grinch and Max up there on the top of Mount Crumpet with the big sleigh full of all the stolen stuff. And I just very, very well done. So much theming. Detail. Here's the view from the top of the ice slides, and you get that sweet ice slide POV footage for you. If you sit on your parker, you do move a little bit faster. That's fun. Starting in the ice slide area, if you go all the way to the far left, there is a smaller slide for children who aren't tall enough for the bigger slides. Older than four or younger than four. Yeah, under four and under 40 inches go on that special slide there. And while the Grinch stole Christmas, Christmas came anyway for the Who's. You can see them all standing around in a circle singing their Who song. I will say one thing that's weird about the attraction this year, uh, they got the license to the characters, but not to like the music from the special and the films. Yeah. So that's a little bit weird because like this would work much better if the song was playing. I'm also sad they're not standing around a tree. Yes. But I do like how they do the scene where the Grinch's heart grows three sizes that day. And with Max. Max, Max is the best. Max is very surprised. But that's really neat. I enjoy this transition to the next room. Be the cutest sculpture in the entire experience. Max the dog with a Christmas wreath. And a Christmas hat. Yeah. And you do see one of the artisans here making the ice. Which is always really impressive. Yeah, and see some of the stuff they're working on, like down there you can see boots. You have like the Grinch's hands. Yep. So that's cool. A uh, big Christmas tree. And then I believe Cindy Lou Who. I'm not sure who's in the rest of the show. Okay. And we made it to the final scene where the Grinch is dining on Christmas 
Skinner with the Who's. Obviously, a lot of the stuff is, some of the stuff is made on ice, but not all of it is. Like the the big roast beast is not ice in the sea. Some of their hands aren't. Yes. The forks and knives. But, but like the table is. Yeah, and the table's gigantic and curved. It's mm -hmm. really neat. to the end of How the Deer Stole Christmas. And there we go, that's the end of How the Deer Stole Christmas. Each year they change out the theme in ice. Uh, Molly, you and I have been going every year since 2014. So if you're curious about any of the other years, uh, we have all those videos on the YouTube channel. So check out our Ice the Gaylord Palms playlist. Now after the Grinch area, there is an additional area. And uh, this really, unlike the rest of the event, this does not change every year. It's always the, the nativity. sale on tickets during Black Friday. So our tickets were about $25 each. And normally they run around, I think, $35. But the real thing that's the killer here at the Gaylord Palms, if you want to park your car, it is $30 to park your car. Yes. So while the, the ice event, it's very fun, very awesome. It is uh, very expensive. But I still enjoy it. I look forward to it every year. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I need to go now because my hand is freezing.